So Old Water Catchment Management Community Interest Company started in 2015, well, 2016 after the Storm Desmond floods of 2015. And it started as a small community flood action group and then developed into the CIC, which was formalised in 2018. Well, I think we're, we're very proud of what we've achieved um, up throughout the catchment. And when we come back to look at work that's maybe a couple of years old, it's incredible to see what wildlife has returned, to see how the trees are growing, to see how it's, it's changed the landscape, but in a good way. But actually, that we're also very proud that the farmers are, are happy with it and the landowners are happy with what we've done and that they can see how this is going to benefit their farm and their futures as well. I think, I think the work that we do is important because we're demonstrating what's possible by working with landowners and farmers. And once you learn how to do that, you then unlock potential of the whole catchment and then working at catchment reach, which is something that people have historically struggled with. I think it's just, uh, I think what we're, what we're doing um, is, is demonstrating that we're working with partners, we're working with farmers, and that has enabled us to work at a catchment scale. So in our partnership working with Olds Water CIC and, and the National Trust in the Olds Water Catchment, one of, one of the really good things about it has to be has the way that the projects have evolved throughout river valleys so that, you know, we're, we're really developing that kind of catchment scale impact on the hydrology and the geomorphology of these river catchments. Goldwellbeck used to run next to the A592 and there was a real risk of the road being undermined or even collapsing. So in 2021 we allowed the beck to flow back through the lowest part of the floodplain, interacting naturally with all of the land around it, creating fantastic habitat, fantastic floodplain wetland and removing the risk to the road infrastructure. At Hartsop Hall we've used a different approach to river restoration where we've had to work sensitively with the farm business there. So we've carried out a constrained restoration where we've moved the flood banks back but we've actually increased the wetted channel area from just over a thousand metres squared to 23,000 metres squared. This increase in habitat is so vital for everything that depends on this environment but it's also providing some flood resilience for our farm tenant. I think what's happening in this valley with the Oldswater CIC is just really, really exciting. Um, and it's not one farmer, it's not one person, it's a whole group of people. And we're doing things like the ponds behind me, uh, things like the longer break rotational grazing uh, in the background, uh, just giving nature a chance and starting to use natural processes. And it's, it isn't abandoning our culture or our identity or our need to live in this place. It's just building on that and giving it a, giving it a sort of really relevant uh, new start, sort of uh, reinvigoration of it. And I'm really proud of everything that we're doing, that Danny's doing and that the other farmers in this valley are doing collectively. Uh, it's profoundly making this place better and it's, it's exciting and I'm proud to be a small part of it. Working with Danny and Maddie at Allswater Catchment Management CIC has allowed us both to achieve a lot more at a scale which we wouldn't have been able to on our own. So we've been able to create a landscape which is more joined up in terms of habitats, which is better for nature and which provides people with more resilience in the face of climate change. Projects like this are so important for local communities in terms of having a resilient landscape around them. So from a flood, a drought and a climate change perspective, this work is vital but also for our natural world, which we know to be in crisis. This makes a difference. We're committed to continue our work with local farmers and land managers to make Allswater a better place for people and for nature.